The Open Window by Hector Hugh Monroe. I'm Manusha Tennakon. Content of the presentation. Number one, the story writer. Number two, summary of the story. Number three, setting of the story. Number four, plot of the story. Number five, characters of the story. Number six, themes of the story. The story writer. The writer of the story is Hector Hugh Munro and he is better known by his pen name Saki. And also he is frequently named as H. H. Munro. He was a British writer. He was born in 1870 and he died in 1916. Summary of the story. Frampton Nuttall moves into a new town to cure his now problem. His sister who lived there helps him arranging a meeting with one of her acquaintances, Mrs. Sappleton. On reaching her house, he encounters her niece Vera. She points to an open window and tells him about the reason behind it. She tells Natil that her aunt's husband and her two brothers got killed in a tragic hunting accident. Moreover, she warns him that Mrs. Sappleton anticipates their return, so she keeps the window open. Finally, Mrs. Sappleton comes to meet him and tells him that she is waiting for her husband. This disturbs Natil and he gets horrified when he sees three male approaching him in hunting tear. Thus, he flees the house. Setting of the story. The setting of this story is in Mrs. Sappleton's Victorian style home in the United Kingdom countryside. The story takes place one autumn evening in the month of October as the characters congregate in the living room near a French window overlooking the lawn. Plot of the story. The story has a tripartite structure. Number one, the first part begins with the meeting between Vera and Frampton. Number two, the second part starts with the entrance of the aunt and the dialogue between her and the guest. Number three, the third part comprises the return of the hunting party and how the visitor flees. The narrator employs flashback to divide these three parts interrupting the present with a story within a story inspired by the girl's imagined past. The end is surprising when the reader discovers that Vera is a liar. The plot of the story can be further analyzed under the following elements. Number one, exposition. Exposition refers to the background information on the characters and setting explain at the beginning of the story. Here, a man named Frampton Nuttall is visiting the Sappletons can be taken as the exposition of the story. Number two, rising action. Rising action is the section of a story that leads towards its climax. Here, Vera's detailed description of the tragedy that occurred to her aunt three years ago can be taken under rising action. Number three, climax. The most exciting part of the story where the conflict of the plot is resolved is called the climax. As the sun begins setting, three figures walking across the lawn and can be seen from the window Mr. Nuttall frightened upon realizing the figures are the ghost of the Sappletons, grabs his things and leaves the house to escape the assumed ghost. This incident can be considered as the climax of the story. Resolution Resolution is simply the end of the story. It occurs after the climax. It is from the resolution that readers learn what happens to the characters after the conflicts. Here under resolution, 
the following can be taken the family thinks that frampton is crazy because he ran away and it is revealed by vera that he was afraid of dogs because of his horrifying experience of dogs in india characters all together there are six characters in the story frampton natel frampton natel is the protagonist of the story his background occupation and age are unknown he has recently moved to the unnamed rural area as per the recommendation of his doctors for his nerve cure vera vera is mrs sapleton's niece and she is described as a self possessed young lady of 15 vera is a girl with a superb ability of fabricating stories and some consider vera as the antagonist of the story mrs sapleton mrs sapleton is vera's aunt she is a friend of natel's sister she is absent in the first half of the story natel's sister she is a silent character in the story she lived in the area natel has moved to 4 years before mr sapleton mr sapleton is the husband of mrs sapleton who has gone hunting for the day mrs sapleton's two brothers mrs sapleton's two brothers to have gone hunting for the day with mr sapleton one of them whose name is ronnie often teases mrs sapleton by singing a short song the short story the open window consists of many themes out of them the following can be considered as important themes theme number 1 mischief is a part of clever children here vera is the mischievous child her mischievousness is an indication of her cleverness she could easily mislead an adult mr natel fabricating a story theme number 2 confrontation between adults and children adults have loosened their imagination and children still lives in a world of imaginative created by themselves confrontation between adults and children is a phenomenon which exists in that world in all the eras the reason for this confrontation according to the story is the inability of adults to have imagination because of lack of imagination natel never thought that vera was fabricating a story theme number 3 how appearance resemblance and naivety can distract our attention from reality and even make harm to our health natel could not recognize the reality because of his naivety inexperience and resemblance of fantasy on reality as a result natel who came to the countryside to cure his nerve problem had to run out of the house at a high speed which definitely may harm his health condition theme number 4 conflict between reality and imagination demonstrating how difficult it can be to distinguish between them most of the people in the world some own troubles as they cannot recognize the difference between reality and imagination because both reality and imagination are almost alike natel who answered intelligently to the question by vera You may wonder why we keep that window wide open on an October evening as it is quite warm for the time of the year could not be with that reality and got caught in Vera's imagination Thank you very much we'll meet again with a video like this